So we're here with the Ball Hawk uh, podcast walkthrough. Uh, he's everywhere, a locker room access, and uh, he was nice enough to jump on with us for a few minutes. Uh, Ball Hawk, how, how you doing? You ready for Tech this week? Yeah, man, I'm doing great, man. You know, the, the, the thing about Tech Week is I become super busy because of, you. so you see the portrait of the catch in the background. So everybody loves to refer back to 98. So um, I'm usually very humble this week because I don't consider myself like the legendary players like a Thomas Jones, or Anthony Poindexter, and those guys. But the fact that I'm remembered for something for this university is all, it, it always takes me back. So um, I, I, I enjoy this week, man, because I'm in demand. So I, 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 I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for being with us. Uh, I'm sure you get this all the time, but take me back to that spot, 1998, uh, three minutes uh, down by a field goal. You're backed up inside the, your own 10 yard line. And then, you know, Aaron Brooks gets his drive going down the field. Yeah. So, to, so I'm going to tell you like this. If you listen to my podcast, you listen to me talk or see me tweet, I'm super, I'm like a super positive person. Like I'm so competitive. Like I never think I'm going to lose. And that team was the same way. So even though we was getting our tails kicked in the first half, we never thought we would lose. We just had to figure out like how we was going to start the run. And Dex came in the locker room and chewed us out. And um, Byron three got us started by a pick six. Cause we was thinking it up as an offense, right? The defense got competitive and said, well, we'll score since y'all don't want to score. And we didn't take it as a shot. That's a challenge. And three mm -hmm. went out and scored. So we like, well, we got to score. Long story short, they bow up in the second half and only give up three points. You know what I'm saying? So um, we get the ball backed up and we running the same play all the way down the field. You know, it's, it's just mirror corner routes and Casey has a wide option. Casey is the read first because of the defense that they play, like this blitz technique, wide tackle six. And um, Casey catches a ball, but he doesn't really catch it. But he sold it that he caught the ball. If people go back and look at that, that, catch that they gave the one him. on the sideline no the one in the middle of the field the tight end yeah yeah, yeah. tight end he didn't he drops it but he sells it he's like sir sir i caught the ball sir i caught the ball we could hear him on the sideline i'm like damn man casey's selling it like he dropped this i hope they give it to us then i think the next play that's when kevin coffee looks in the sunlight and his contact pops out well i just run in the game i don't know if i was supposed to go in but i just run in so in my head i'm like I'm going in. Like I had, I, I've gotten in on just only three receiver sets, but no, no regular sets. So we call the same play and um, I'm ready to run to the field, the wide side. Terrence is to the near side now. And Terrence is the one that's been killing. And Brooks goes, Hawk, I'm coming to you. And his type of style, he laid back like, Hawk, I'm coming to you. And I'm like, word? He's like, yeah. So I'm like, all right. So I tell everybody I ran like the worst route you could run. Like the route wasn't great. Um, Anthony Midget reads my route. He's breaking down here before I even break out. And when I turn around, I just hear a noise. Like, <laughs> that's all I hear. I hear a whistling and I feel something just hit my face mask. Go pink and my right hand just goes up. So I don't see the ball. I just see, I see a white arm flash in front of my eyes. And then I hear a pink. And when I hear it and I feel something on my face, I bring my right hand up. Both of my hands go up, but my right hand is the only hand that touched the ball. Richmond, I think Richmond times this past, I think they got a picture of me catching it. And you see my right hand is just on the ball. And when I turn, there's nobody else there. So I just caught it with my right hand. Then I tucked it with my right. And I was like, nobody's going to, like, once Midget broke and he missed it, Nobody on the team was going to catch me. I was going to let that happen. Like, I was going – I wasn't worried about people catching me, but I saw a guy to work for the media, uh, Mike, who passed away, and he's like, come on, hurry up, hurry up. And I started laughing at him, and they got a picture of me smiling. And the rest is history, man. You get that pose. But that pose that I do has nothing to do with football. My two cousins got murdered that year, and they were supposed to be there, Chanelo and Saron Gibson. They got murdered in February 1998. And that pose is for them. Wow. That pose is not football related. So I appreciate that pose because it's for my deceased cousins who I was thinking about when I was on my knees. 
But at the same time, when people gave me the Monica having to catch, I always wanted to remember Thomas Jones catch in the right end zone and remember what Thweet did to start it off. I just finished it. I just did my job. I protected myself from a 100 mile an hour fastball from Aaron Brooks. So I'm getting all this, you know, glory, which I, I appreciate, but I just did what I was supposed to do. You know what yeah, I'm saying? He, he was putting some dimes on that final drive, man. It, Yo, Brooks is, yeah. he's nice, man. Like, to me, I'm biased. He's right behind Sean all the time. He don't have the numbers to stack up. Like, he don't have the numbers to compete with Bryce or Matt Schaub or, or what Brendan's doing now. But when you go back and watch Aaron Brooks throw the football, it's 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 a work of art, man. That dude and and if you put him in today's game, his numbers would be there probably, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's not taking away from the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brendan is, is a stud. Like, so thankful that he's our quarterback now. Thankful for what Bryce did. Thankful for what Kurt Benkert did as well. Like all those guys, they're in the league for a reason. So, uh, but yeah, I just it's just a it, it's always a fun conversation because his name gets lost a lot because he don't have the numbers to really just have everybody throwing his name out. You know, well, well he kind of made up for it because he had so much success in the league. You know, <laughs> yeah, he did. Shout yeah. out to New Orleans Saints, what he did there. Yeah, that was like instinct got them going. I think Jeff Blake had gone down. Maybe it was Jeff Blake. Yeah, and, yeah, and uh. Yeah, he took him to the playoffs. So when did that picture first start circulating? It was before my time. But when did that so, picture first start circulating around? Like, I know it so was on the media had, guide one year. Yeah, they had it. So my hometown of Delhi Pro, the, not Delhi Progress, Delhi Press, Delhi Progress is here in Charlottesville. Delhi Press back in Hampton and Newport News, they had a, they had not this actual angle. They, they're right in the front because I got that downstairs in my workstation. But that picture circulated and Mike Ingalls took this photo, shout out to him. Um, it was on our media guide the next year, which was crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm on the damn media guy. We got Thomas Jones on our team, bro. And I'm on the media guy. Like really me. And I didn't realize how important that catch was until everybody kept talking about it. Like the next year, I was like, yo, I just made, like I scored a touchdown. I made a catch. I didn't think too much of it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause I'm just competing. But when it was on the media guy, that's why I knew it was real. Cause that goes to recruits that goes to different schools. Like that's a big deal. So that's when I realized that picture was like that. And then when Chris Long helped donate and ended up on the indoor, not that pose, but of me running and smiling, that's on the indoor private facility, a big old picture. So that's when it started to hit me. And then it was a mural in Scott Stadium for a long time until they changed it this year. That photo was there. So that's when it hit me when I came back from playing arena ball and it was in different spots. And I'm just like, oh, so that play is a big deal. So 